Yeah, yeah. Yes. Mandi, can you tell me uh, what is the topic? Uh, my topic is, as I entered in the school, Principal Ma'am halted me. Oh my God. As I entered in the school and the Principal Ma'am halted me. The kind of feeling you all have is what? A feeling of? Terror. Fear, terror. But let us listen to Mandi's uh, experience and then decide. It's me, Mandi Maheshwari, scholar of class 60. And as you all have heard my topic, now let's start. One appetizing morning, I woke up and grew myself well and merrily went to the school. But as I entered in the school, Principal Ma'am, with no expressions on her face, halted me and told me to keep my bag inside my classroom and go to her office. And she went. But she also left me in sixes and sevens. I was scared completely as I had not created any such nuisance that she would call me in her office. All my friends standing over there were also perplexed that what could be the reason behind my call. And so I quickly went in the classroom, kept my bag and uh, in, a, in a hurry went to her office. And as I went inside her office and stepped in, she congratulated me for getting first rank in International English Olympiad. And as I heard that, I was startled and was selling in the boat of joy and happiness that I, I came and uh, I came first. And she gave me blessings because Steward is known for English capital in the Bilwara and a Stewardian got first rank. So she was extremely joyful and that was a proud moment for all the school, not only for me. And so she gave me blessings and told me to stand on stage for this assembly. I understood what she told and quickly went on the stage and after the prayer, my name was announced and I was really tremendous joyful that the happiness was visible on my face. Whole the school and director sirs especially congratulated me and told me uh, that I am very uh, and, and uh, director sir told me that uh, you made us feel proud and he, he also gave me many blessings and I was also given a big trophy and a medal which made me feel really proud and after the assembly my all dear friends also congratulated me for the achievement and all my teachers and especially my English teacher congratulated me a lot and my English teacher was feeling really proud that a student got first rank and after the uh, school uh, bell of uh, after the school as I went to the home I told my mother and surprised her she was extremely joyful and merry as it was castles and air uh, it was castles and air that I got uh, it was uh, really a less chance was happening that all over uh, it was all over world and I got the first rank I was really happy and my parents were really feeling proud on me and that is a nostalgic memory of my life thank you this experience uh, I would like to ask one or two questions just to find out whether you have understood rightly or not and you were attentive or not so my first question is uh, when she came first, still Principal Ma'am had no expressions. Can you guys tell me why Principal Ma'am had no expressions? Okay, Aradhya, I am very happy to see a lot of hands raised. Yes, Aradhya? Because she wanted to make Mani sail in the joy of happiness. Wonderful. Wonderful. I am impressed by the choice of the words that she wanted to make Manvi sail in the boat of happiness. Go Darat, sit down. Next question is, after hearing this, what you have learned from the session, from the interaction which we made with Manvi, what you have learned? Yes? Yes, you start out. And we will work hard so we will make our school and parents proud of us. Wow.
Wonderful. So what is going to work at the end of the day? What is going to work? What do you guys have to do? Then we have to work hard. We have to work, work hard. hard. And once we work hard, no one can stop us. Okay? So let us proceed. Sit down. Thank you, Vita. Now let us proceed. The second speaker mm -hmm. I would like to call you are cool. Boys should also get a chance. Otherwise, they will feel ma'am is only mm, uh, being partial with girls. Yes, Apoorva, pick up. Yes, ma'am. My topic is when it was my turn, I noticed my shirt button was unfixed. Please uh, speak your topic once again. My topic was that when I it was my turn, I noticed my shirt's button was unfixed. So where did you go where you find your shirt button got uh, unfixed? It was my interview. Oh my god. Just imagine the situation, the gravity of the situation when he went to give interview and he found that his button is unfixed. So please continue. Hey everyone, it's me an aspirant of class 7th B. I wish you a very refreshing morning. Now I am going to start my story. As I wake up in morning, I was already late and I just did all my work which had we had to do in the morning. And where I was start standing, the part divides into two parts. There was one side success and one side failure. The failure side was too crucial and the, uh, sorry. The winning side was too good and then I did my whole work and I was too hurrying up and then I called my taxi and I just went and in taxi the situation was too bad because that time I got to know about that my button is unfixed. That time there was no land under my feet and that time nothing can be happened because I was already late and I have to go hurry up fast. And when I just went, uh, it's my turn already. I don't have just to wait there. And uh, I just uh, thought that the thing I interview notice is what? Your education, your body language, your way of sitting, your way of uh, talking, and your main one, which is your confidence. And when I just went in, he didn't even notice my button. That was a good thing. And when I just performed my whole of the interview, he just said me that, can you just leave a room for one minute? We are going to decide something. And at that time, I was feeling too horrible that what's happening here? Then this don't happen at any time that they send the, the person who is giving the interview outside. Then uh, when they called me again, they said that you are decided for the highest job which we pay to our uh, uh, workers in our company. And uh, thanks for your interview. We are very happy to have a such person like you in our uh, in our uh, company and uh, it was too good for me and then it my blitness had no uh, reaches I, my blitness is the seventh sky Thank okay you. guys yes Apu <laughs> how he shared uh, his incident at the interview place I would like to ask a question that after hearing him, which qualities or I would rather say what have you assessed or you want to inculcate in yourself after hearing him? Yes guys, raise your hands. I'm happy to see so many hands raised and the amount of enthusiasm filled in you. Yes, can you? So we should always have confidence and faith in ourselves and moreover, we should always check ourselves before leaving for somewhere important. Life changing lesson. First of all, we should have faith in ourselves. And secondly, if we are going out for some important work, we have to check everything, whether we have kept all our documents and not documents, check yourself also, whether your button is not unfixed like a good, isn't it? Okay, uh, now let us proceed. Now, um, I would like to call Disha. Can you come and take a chit and let us see what you are going to throw light on? Yes, Disha. Okay. My topic is she tried to elicit the information of her gift. An appetizing morning to one and all present here. Myself Disha Sharma and today I am going to compose the topic.
topic that I just spoke in front of you. The day dawned crisp and clear. I could barely conceal my delight as my sister, who had been living abroad for years, was going to come back. I had already prepared a radiant greeting card to welcome her astoundingly. My sister had already informed us that she was going to come by a taxi, so our eyes were constantly looking for a taxi when abruptly my gaze fell upon one of it which was swiftly approaching towards us. We all recognized that there was none other than my sister in that taxi. Uh, my sister, whose appearance had changed out and out, stepped down and I was such a happy camper at the moment when I met my sister after a long period of time. She embraced everybody and at last she smiled at me and hugged me. After her long and tedious journey, she started feeling so drowsy and knackered that she went to rest in her room for a while. During this, I was constantly peeping into her room through the door hole and I observed that my sister had grown up a lot and I thought that my sister won't like my greeting card as it was exceedingly pattish. So, hiding it from, anybody, uh, uh, hiding it from everybody, I hid it in the cupboard secretly and did not let anybody know about it. After taking a relaxing nap, my sister woke up and as she knew very well that I was very habitual and passionate of making greeting cards whenever any guest visited our house. So she tried to elicit the information of her gift from everybody present in the house. But this time I had not shared it with anybody that I had prepared a greeting card. So she could not uh, elicit the information of her gift. Uh, the days wore on when uh, one day coincidentally my sister started looking for one of her important documents in the same cupboard where I had hid the greeting uh, where I had hidden the greeting card and luckily she found my greeting card tears tears of joy fell down her cheeks and she could not stop her steps proceeding towards me she swiftly came to me and hugged me tightly and told that she found my greeting card i could barely conceal my delight after listening to this news because uh, my uh, my efforts worked and uh, they did not go in or uh, they did not go in a waste thank you okay